Hi, and welcome to our first lesson on HTML and CSS. All the code you see is available at www.tomakewebsite.com. The first thing we want to do when creating a web page is open up Notepad, which is a very basic text editor available with Windows. So we'll go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, then a Notepad. In here we're going to create our two core files, index.html, which is where we'll keep all the content and is what is presented to the end user. The other one is a supplementary file called style.css. This tells index.html where things go and what it's going to look like. So the first thing we do is go to File, Save As, and we'll create index.html. Let's hit Save, drag that down, then we'll go File, New, File, Save As, and we'll call this style.css, and hit Save. We'll just right click on index.html and go edit, so we have both open here. If we open up index.html in our browser, you'll see it's blank because we haven't actually put anything in there yet. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to our web page here, and we'll grab some HTML code, and we'll copy that into our index.html. Go file, and save. Here you'll see the tags of any HTML page. So there's HTML, head, Here's our reference to our style.css file. Here's our title, which will appear in the top left-hand corner here. This one has HTML and CSS tutorials basics. Then we have a body, which is where we keep all the content of our page. Here we have a heading, represented by H2. We have some paragraphs, and we have just some plain text there. So now we'll have a look at that in the web browser. Just open up index.html. This is what it looks like. Here's the general text, here's our two paragraphs, and here's our heading, and there's our title up there. So we'll just minimize that. We'll go back to our web page, go down, and we'll grab our style.css. We'll paste that in there, and we'll save. Here you'll see body, which is telling the HTML what everything inside this body tag is going to look like. So it's going to have a font of Arial a background color, and a text color of red. Here we have a paragraph and our h2, which correspond in our index.html here, h2 and paragraph. Anything here is going to take on the attributes of the body tag. So we'll go back, our paragraph is going to have a different text color, a different font, and some padding. While h2 is going to have a font family, which just tells it that if it, the browser doesn't recognize Verdana, to use Arial, Helvetica, and then Sans Serif down the line. It's best to have a very generic one at the end. Then we have some padding and a different text color. So now that we've done that, we'll go back to our web page, just hit refresh, and you'll see the changes. There's our general text, our two paragraphs, and our heading. Come back for lesson two, and you'll learn some more.